The worst time to discover your generator system has a problem is exactly at the moment you need it the most. Only running a generator under load will determine if it's able to perform and bear the load. Bay City Electric Works understand the importance of load banking. In the event of a power outage, you want to be sure the standby generator set is capable of carrying its assigned load. Only loading the generator to its assigned load will verify this. Load banking is the process of connecting ancillary load to the generator system. The industry standard is to load bank with resistive power. This loads the generator section to 100% at unity power factor. Loading by switching the system load to the generator is not an adequate test. Only a stimulated load bank test can ensure the generator system is loaded and tested to 100% of its rated capacity. Testing to 100% of capacity ensures the cooling system, the most frequent reason for failure, is working efficiently and attains the rise in temperature to test the cooling system and burn off harmful excess fuel and carbon deposits. The National Fire Protection Agency recommends annual load bank testing of critical load generator set installations. For non-critical systems, NFPA 110 recommends load banking every 36 months. Bringing the engine to operating temperature for a period, as defined by NFPA 110, eliminates the buildup of carbon deposits and burns off unused fuel and carbon deposits in the exhaust system, a condition known as wet stacking. Wet stacking is a condition where upburnt fuel and carbon deposits build up in the exhaust system, producing smoke and unnecessary pollution. Generator systems loaded less than 30% never reach the optimum temperature. A generator that is continually run on a light load will start to exhibit the symptoms of wet stacking. Carbon deposits will form on injectors, pistons, rings, turbochargers, valves, and accumulate in the lubrication oil. All of these conditions will result in reduced performance and reduced engine life. Removing carbon deposits from key internal components increases maintenance time. A frequent sign of an engine suffering from wet stacking is excessive black smoke on startup. Another cause of underperformance is problems with an engine's cooling system. Load banking will verify if cooling is adequate for the generator to carry the load without overheating. Airflow over the radiator is critical for cooling. Most common problems with cooling are loss of coolant due to radiator leaks and faulty hoses. Also, radiator fins can become blocked with debris, which will significantly reduce airflow and the radiator's cooling capability. Within the engine, cooling issues such as faulty water pump or faulty thermostat will be identified if insufficient cooling is detected during a load bank test. Load banking can be part of the usual planned maintenance contract. Our technicians carry out the recommended NFPA 110 4-hour test, which calls for a load of at least 30% above rating for 3 hours and above 70% rating for an additional 1 hour. Our technician first connects the wires to the load bank, then connects the wires to the generator circuit breaker. The generator set is then started, and quite often, a set that has not been loaded on prior runs will smoke on start. The technician records the readings, verifies the set is performing as it is meant to, and logs it in the report, referencing the hours that have passed. So to summarize, load banking to set NFPA standards is the only method to verify 100% performance and will Detect problems due to coolant. Detect problems due to the radiator. Identify issues connected to light loading that can lead to wet stacking. Make sure your generator is ready to perform. Use Bay City for planned maintenance, number one in load banking. Bay City ensures their customers are all set to go and their generators carry the load.